Right, yeah, uh, how's it going guys? It's It's been a minute, I'm sorry. I've been just pretty busy with some other stuff in my life going on, so I haven't kind of sat down and put this video together. Um, I'm going to apologise now, the video is a mess, it's all over the gaff, and all I can say is I'm sorry. There were a lot of issues that came up after installing the springs, which I wasn't expecting, and I've documented all of that here, so for anyone else wanting to lower their Scirocco or another car, um, Maybe these issues could happen to you, I think it's unlikely, but you'll see what I'm talking about later on in the video. There's a lot of issues with sensors, and then as your tyres change, and it was just a whole whole thing. Um, the car looks a lot better now than it does, and you'll see that at some point in the uh, in the video. I've got a video from recently, a roller that, we, that a friend of mine took, and the car there is kind of properly represented with the lowering springs on. Uh, there's a couple clips before where I measured it before and after. The after measurements were taken the day after all the springs were installed and since then, as you'd expect, the car has gone down a little bit more. So make sure you stick around for the roller and yeah, that, that's me done speaking. Enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. I've got some exciting stuff coming up, hopefully. So stick around for that and yeah, see you guys in a bit. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing something that is long overdue that will completely change the aesthetic of the Shroko R. I've been saying it's coming for a while. I keep saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, but we're finally doing it. Today, we're installing the H&R lowering springs. Let's get into it. Now, I am not a mechanic, so I've got my friends at IPC that are going to help me out, so we've got to go over to their barn and uh, try and get these things fitted, so let's see how that goes. Anyway, these are 45mm lowering springs. <laughs> Quickly measure the car's height, ride height at the moment, and then measure it again afterwards so we can see what the total droppage is. Let's start with the back tyres and see what they're like. Um, I think it's probably going to be easier for me to measure from the top of the rim. Let go down like that. So currently the back ones are measuring about four and a half inches from the top of the rim. The front one is kind of a few millimeters short of five inches. So I'll measure these again. So I'll measure these again once the springs are installed and see how much they've been lowered by. But yeah, like I said, we've got to go over to their farm and get it installed. So let's, uh, let's get over there. Now, you already know the boys were late, so I had to stop at the pub and get myself a pint before we got to work on the car. Pulling up to the barn, I was greeted with the boys Miatas and Harry's JCW. Uh, more of them on their Instagram if you want to check it out. So after a quick catch up, we got straight to work on the Shroko and they immediately filled me with all the confidence in the world that this job was going to get done and done right. With the rear springs installed, we decided to have a quick break and try and re-evaluate what's going on with the front ones. We um, we ran into a couple of issues trying to get the front springs installed, so we went to do some research to see what we could do to get them done, and definitely didn't lose track of time. As you can see in the video, it was getting dark and we were quickly running out of time and light. Um, we decided that it'd be best that I'd still be able to drive the car. So we ended up not installing the front springs. Right, good morning guys. Um, yeah, so as you just kind of saw from that time lapse, we did manage to get the back, the back wheels sorted. Uh, we got them lowered. Uh, we couldn't do the front wheels because, well, because for some reason Volkswagen needs specific tools to remove the front wheels and they're also kind of seized up which didn't help, but um, yeah, I'm currently on my way to my friends at In-N-Out Auto Centers, they used to work on my BMW when I had that, um, and yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna help me do, do the rest of the front wheels. Um, 
at the moment, I can't lie, there is uh, some noises coming from the back wheels I'm not sure should be happening, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. Alright, I've just uh, finished up at work, so I'm going to go grab the car from the garage. They rang me earlier and they said it was all sorted, the back wheels were done perfectly, so that's how I could do for that. And uh, yeah, the noise that I was hearing was uh, we didn't put the front wheel back on properly. Right, it's a quick update. The guys at uh, in and out have changed as well the front tyres, however they think they've knocked the sensor, the wheel alignment sensor, because now I'm getting all these lights come on. And that's like ABS not working. Uh, cornering lights and ABS error. So, yeah, take it back in. Right, so the car's been dropped down at in and out again. Um, they think the alignment sensor is gone because all the lights seem to do with the wheel direction. There's also a metallic rubbing, which I have no idea what that is. I've asked them to have a look at it and see, well, see what they've done basically. But yeah, I just go this way. But, yeah, that's basically it. We'll check in with them later and see what's happening. Right, work is finished. It is a bit windy today, but uh, we're headed back to In and Out to get my car. Apparently, the inside of the front tyres are completely bald and the threads are showing, so I shouldn't be driving it. Um, I've arranged with the guys to get some new tyres in. Uh, that'll be happening later on this week. But yeah, they said they fixed the alignment. They could, no, sorry, they fixed the sensor. They couldn't actually align it because of the tyres. Uh, they're so bald that they wouldn't do the alignment on them. So I'll have to get that done another time. But they fixed all the lights and everything like that and uh, the back of the brake caliper was rubbing on the back of the brake disc, I believe, which is making the noise. So yeah, we're literally here. Um, let's, let's see what state it's in, I guess. Right, yeah, so I am um, back in and out. They're currently fitting two new front tyres as well as a sensor and I can't remember what sensor they said. But I mean it's been lowered now, it's fine. The noise has stopped because they fixed the the brake caliper was rubbing on the back of the brake disc. So they fixed that, the noise has stopped. All the lights are still on the dash though because it's not aligned because the sensors aren't in or one was faulty. Um, but yeah, they're getting out sorted now, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. And then yeah, it'll be back good and I can put this video together and edit it. It's overdue. <laughs> right, once again, I've just dropped the car in and out. Uh, hopefully they're gonna fix everything. They've got it for the day while I'm at work. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not holding my breath. They, they seem to think it's a sensor, but they replaced one and they're like, oh, it may have been a faulty sensor. But, and if one sensor's gone, apparently it affects everything, which I don't know how true that is, but it may be, it may be, I don't know. Anyway, I'll, um, I mean, you guys have probably seen a lot of these clips now. I haven't been able to get the video, but you've probably seen a lot, so I'll see you at the end of the day. Yeah, so, that's the speed sensor. That's the ABS sensor. That's the ABS speed sensor. Okay. And we're saying that in here the bearing. Yeah. So this this is this is called the hub unit. Hub this unit. Is part on this side. Okay. And then the wheel bearing. In fact, if you actually if you come around here, that in there. Yeah. That's the outer casing of the wheel bearing. Okay. And then there's the flange which pushes. All right, so here it is, now lowered. It's the day after. I mean, they're not quite as low as I want, but it's definitely sitting lower. So last time we measured it, I think it was about four and a half inches, but now it's kind of about three and a half. So it's gone down by like an inch. 
Uh, I think it's about the same for the front. So they're now set about four mil, uh, sorry, four inches from the top of the wheel. One eternity later. Yeah, I know, I'm back. I said I'd be gone, but I'm back. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, it's looking a lot lower. It's looking a lot cleaner. Um, and yeah, that's with the 45 mil springs on. What I didn't know is that from the factory, Schrocker R's are already lowered by 20 mil. So these 45 mil springs kind of only took them down to the 25 mil. Um, plus obviously the extra drop after they kind of settled a bit. But yeah, I think it looks great here. And who knows, maybe I'll go lower in the future. Maybe I'll put some coilovers on instead. That way I can adjust it as and when. But I guess we'll have to find out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all of that. And I'll see you in the next